Ogs here. Today we are going to do something different. We are going to go through uh, the Chelsea squad, the man squad, and if we have time, we can go to the development and the academy. And we're going to decide who to sell, who to send on loan, and who to keep in the team. We're going to also talk about international break and who did what. Let's start. So the goalkeepers, we have Kepa Arisabalaga and Willy Caballero. Kepa was with Spain, but he didn't play. Willy Caballero didn't go to Argentina. And uh, for me, Kepa, we have no choice. He need to stay, but I'm afraid he's going to be on the bench. Willy Caballero, if I have a, an opportunity to sell him, if there is a bid, or I heard Pellegrini wanted, wanted him uh, in Spain, just sell him and get me uh, Ben Foster from Westford. So Kepa can be the number three <laughs> because Mendy is signing. So I don't see Kepa really firing for number one. He doesn't have any choice because nobody want to pay him that kind of money. So Kepa stays, Willie goes, Mendy number one, Foster number two, and Kepa number three. Defenders. Tony Rudiger was with uh, Germany. Marcos Alonso, no, he wasn't called. Andreas, Andreas Christensen was with his uh, national team. He played both games. Tony Rudiger also played both games. They did good, you know. They did overall good. So, um, if I was given a chance, I don't know, man. I was going to loan out Tony Rudiger, keep Christensen for you know the squad death, and uh, also keep Tomori. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna talk about Tomori uh, when we get to his picture. Zuma wasn't called. I will keep Zuma up for sure. Chris James was of under 21 England, but he didn't play because he was injured. Caesar Aspiliqueta, my captain, he wasn't called. So I will keep, keep, keep. You know what I mean? Yeah, Fikayo Tomori, he wasn't called. And apparently he's moving to Everton. And uh, Kai Harvard personally asked him to get his 29 number and Fikayo Tomori said yeah of course you can have my number so uh, it's very nice of Fikayo Tomori and that was before even you know the talk about him going on loan was there so I think it's, it's a good very it's a good very it's a good uh, attitude to have you know give him number 29 and you can have another number. Thank you for doing that, brother. And uh, I would like to keep him, but the way I I am reading now, looks like he's off to Everton. Emerson Palmieri, I'm not sure if he was called, but I'm going to definitely sell Emerson. And uh, it's frozen for some reason. Whoa. This is, I'm, I'm jumping all over here. Ben Shewell was injured, so he wasn't with the national team. Thiago Silva was on vacation, and he he's back in London now. So the future captain, Jack. Jack is going to be loaned out for sure, or it's already done by the time you watch this video. Baba will be loaned or sold. Zappa Costa and... Victor Moses, the same. They are going to be loaned out or sold. And in the midfield, we have Jorginho, my own brother. People think that I hate Jorginho, but Jorginho is my brother. I have three shirts of Jorginho, you know, a fanboy here. But right now, you are not fitting the system. 
and you are not feeling the Premier League, so I'm going to sell you because I don't want to see you sit on the bench. But if we, we don't have any choice or nobody want to buy him, we can keep him and play him a few games here and there. N'Golo Kante, don't touch N'Golo Kante. He's going nowhere. I don't care about injuries or whatever. Engolo Kante is going to stay. Ross Barkley. Ross, I defended this brother last season. I got a lot of sticks from people for defending Ross Barkley. My own brother from Nigeria. Yeah, many people don't even know that Barkley is, Barkley is from Nigeria. At some point, he even considered to play for the Super Eagles. But, brother, if you want to make it to the Euros next season, you need to leave so you can play week in and week out. Where are you going to play next season with Chelsea? Ruben is there. Kai Harvard. Hello. Kova. Kante. You can go on and on. Mount. Billy Gilmo. I mean, you have to leave, bro, for your own good, okay? Ruben, I want to see how he performs. Uh, this season last season was very tough Because of the injury, but Ruben is going to do some damage in the Premier League or in the Champions League next season So Ruben is going to stay. He wasn't called and you know the reason Kova Kova was with his national team. He played both games I'm happy that he's back and he wasn't injured. Kova is going to stay Mason Mount the guy loves competition. He's going to fight for his place, and I have no doubt about it. Billy Gilmore, still injured, but Billy is going to stay with us. Hakim Ziyech got a knock, and we don't want to risk him, so it looks like he's not going to play the first game of the season, but he's going to come back stronger and better. Timoe Bakayoko, my brother. Timoe Bakayoko, man, we need to sell him or loan him with obligation to buy. Otherwise, we are going to lose a lot of money. Danny Drinkwater, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I know you've been criticized by many, many fans, but it's not your fault that everything happened the way they were. You know what I mean? The guy was frozen by managers never played a game of football for almost two years what do you expect him to do so just let uh, sell him or send him on loan or something marco is from a very bad long-term injury and i don't mind keeping him with the development squad and see what he can do he can he can be a very good uh squad player Lewis Bake, Bake, <laughs> uh, Becker. This guy, Moreno said, if he doesn't make it to England national team, blame me. So we gotta blame Moreno, man. He 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 was sent on loan everywhere in the country, and now he's 26. There is no hope anymore. Just sell him so he can find a permanent home. Yeah! Hey, Kai! Announce Kai Harvard. So, Kai is finally a blue. I'm so happy even to see him in the website wearing the blue jersey. Kai, he's, he's not going anywhere. 21 years old, he's going to be the next superstar. Let's uh, talk about Tammy Ebra. My own brother, he's going to fight for his place. And... People think that Tammy is going to be on the bench, but I believe at some point we, we will see uh, Frank Lampard play uh, two in front. So he will be playing with uh, Timo Werner. But Tammy is going to, you know, put... Uh, he's going to increase his game to the next level. Just watch. 18 goals with Chelsea for his first season. And he doesn't take penalties and free kicks. You know what I mean? So, Olivier Giroud, my brother Olivier Giroud. I don't know what's going to happen with Olivier Giroud, to be honest with you. We still need him. But with Werner, who is going to score a lot of goals, 
I'm afraid Giroud is going to be on the bench often. Let's wait and see. But I am suspecting that Olivier Giroud could go on, on loan. No, he could go to another club in January because he would like to, to, to go to Euros next season. But at Chelsea, I don't see him uh, playing many games. So he will, he will move in January. And that is just my biased opinion. Kalim Hastonadoy, it's your year, brother. He's been criticized by the so-called experts. They forget that the kid is from a very bad injury. But this coming season is going to be boom. <laughs> Watch. Christian Pulisic, just pray for his fitness. When this guy is fit, my goodness, I don't even know what to say. But Christian, good luck, brother. Michi Bachwai, he, he was with the national team. He scored twice. But at Chelsea, hmm, I don't see the future, bro. So good luck uh, at Palace. And hopefully we can get some good money out of you. It was nice to have you at Chelsea. But I think it's time to go. Timo Werner, what can I say about this guy? He was with the German national team. And he scored, I think, one goal. The other game, he didn't score the last game. But he was on fire, man. He was on fire. And I can't wait until the first game of the season. Charlie Musonda, Jr. Charlie is struggling with injuries. And he's recovering right now. Uh, we could see him in the development squad at some point. And he might even feature in, in the main team, you know, maybe in January or so. Uh, I would like really to see Charlie given another chance. Lucas Pearson. Lucas, just sell him. 26 years old. This is one of uh, those kids that Chelsea killed. <laughs> you know what I mean? By not giving him a chance. So let him go and find a permanent home. So Lucas... Just sell him. Don't loan him anymore. That's it, guys. Let me know what you think about everything that I've spoken in this video. Would you sell somebody, loan out somebody, or keep somebody? I know I'm going to get a lot of sticks from Jorginho fanboys, especially, and Kepa Arisabalaga, because they would prefer to lose playing those players than win without those players, if that makes sense. That's how certain people can be really evil. They just pray that Chelsea uh, lose a game of football so they can say, you see, I told you so. I told you Kepa is not the problem. I told you Jorginho is not the problem. But this season, <laughs> no more excuses, bro. No more excuses. You, you're not going to find anything to blame Frank Lampard or anybody because the team is going to be on fire. So you have to join us and use a little bit of common sense. Support Chelsea Football Club and not individuals. Thank you for watching. Whew. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs>